no house, no money for heat, no, no solution for my life, big problems. It's nice to earn money, but uh, what do you do with this money? Yeah. Now I earn very little and I'm very happy. If they're in trouble and they need help, I would help them. The silence and the pain and what this pain as I walk can teach me about life. How did I get here? It seems strange that a story set on a pilgrimage in Spain would start on a sailboat on the Holy Ganges River in the middle of India. But that's where I first heard about an 800 kilometer pilgrimage across Spain, long before it started trending on Twitter. I can remember the sense of wonder that I felt at the time, hearing about sleeping in barns, eating fresh chisen bread, walking till your feet wept and your back burned from the burden of your weight and the weight of your burdens. A few days later, a seven-year-old beggar girl on the streets of Jaipur changed the way that I look at the world, my place in it, what was important, and more importantly, what wasn't. A few weeks after that, a face-to-face -face encounter with a curious rhino right, now what? brought me closer, in my mind, than I'd ever been to facing my mortality. So, um, rhino, me. These simple, random encounters reshaped and reformed my worldview and began an inquiry into my inner view. Back at home, life quickly returned to normal, as it inevitably does. But my sense of disconnect grew stronger. This modern world, full of all of its technical whiz bangery and marvel, seemed more distant from the essence of humanity than it had ever been. And I was an obviously unwilling participant, with every dollar spent and TV show hungrily devoured. Why aren't I richer? Why aren't I more successful? Why am I such a loser? Why don't I have more friends? Why can't I have a nicer car? When will I be happy? Clearly, I wasn't going to conjure an answer inside the noisy, echoing spaces of my mind. I needed to talk to people. People, not me. People with a different perspective that could challenge my own. True joy and true happiness comes from our spirits and places and other people. It's joy that has seen all the things along the way and has been affected by those things. It is important to be open to what is next and to not be afraid of the unknown. With the promise of cheese and fresh bread, this all starts today. Um, my journey starts today. And 800 kilometers of soul-searching pilgrims. I decided to start my non-theist pilgrimage to Santiago. I didn't expect to divine answers along the way, but perhaps instead find some consolation, solace, or perhaps just better questions from beyond the way.